Hi, I'm Eric Leong. This is Deco A to Z special brought to you by Good Night. Today we are going to make over this lovely bedroom. Before we go for X step, let's talk about problem of this bedroom. First of all, we can see the color scheme actually is quite right for the bedroom because this is uh, uh, the shade of white, but not so right because four wall same color. Basically, you are living in the box, so you don't have a depth for the room. When the room without a depth, it will look small. It doesn't look big. Today, we are going to implement the feature work concept. It's one of the X step, all right? And we had a bed. It's correct. But the bedside table, it seems to only have one side, all right? So the other side is gone already. So it have to be two bedside table. Bedside table, remember the usage for it is uh, to put the bedside table lights and also it's convenient for you like people like me. I like to read before I sleep so I can put my book there. Over here, this, uh, this bedroom is very big. We are going to convert this one into the walking wardrobe. Okay, and we can see here actually it's a working area for the house owner as well. So I'm going to convert this this bare window here as a study table. A house owner required for an entertainment area. I'm going to transform this area into a nice TV area. And we will take away this old and bulky TV, replaced by a slim LCD TV. And over here, I'm not going to use this because I, okay, this top frill here, right, actually is out of fashion as well, okay, so it's not an in thing. I'm going to change it to string curtain. Eric is going to give you the solution for make over this bedroom only 8 step, 8 hours. Step number 1, we're going to determine an interior style. Step number 2, we are going to select the color scheme for this room. House owner love pink, so I'm going to use pink for this room. Step number 3, a feature wall. So feature wall always in the bedroom, always behind the bed head. So which is which means that this is a bed head wall as a feature wall. Step number four, selecting the right furniture. So we are going to have the basic furniture for the room. We have a working wardrobe furniture as well. We have the working table. And step number five, the lighting. Yes, since it's a pink, it belong to red family. So I'm going to use the red lights for this room. Step number six. It's a soft finishing. So we are going to implement the soft finishing for the window treatment. Today, because it's a sponsored by Goodnight, we are not going to use a bed sheet because we want to showcase the mattress. And step number seven is a deco accessory. For bedroom, deco accessory, try to keep it minimum. Later, I will show you what is that. And step number eight is candle and fresh flower. All right. I just can't wait to start the makeover. So let's start now. This renal treatment is definitely is out, out, out. <laughs> Remember, don't force your window to wear mini skirt, alright? Always do the full height curtain so that can increase your ceiling level visually. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, just five hours we had complete the bedroom makeover, alright? But you wonder why I changed my baju, right? Yes, this is from Good Night. Today is an eight step to make over your bedroom. Step number one is to determine your interior style. You can see here, it's very modern resort style. Step number two, the overall color scheme, alright? So you can see here, this bedroom that we are using, purple, okay, uh, to use it as a main color scheme. But if you look at it carefully, actually, it's a pink color, right? It's under red family. The feature wall, set number three. I selected this one at the bay headboard here. So using the, this is a pink, a darker pink as a feature wall. So always feature wall for the bedroom is behind the bed headboard here. Set number four, furniture. For a bedroom, the basic furniture are bed, bed side table, and wardrobe are divided into two zones. So one zone here is a sleeping zone, which is you can see the bed and the bedside table. And the other side here, I divide this one into a working and also walking wardrobe. So this is a storage area. At this bare window, I make a working bench, okay, or a working table here for him. Always remember, Okay, in interior design, mirror can double the space. So this side, we double out the space so it will look very spacious. Set number five, that is a lighting, right? So lighting, we use a lot of uh, indirect lights here. You can see here, this is the, not a pendant light, this is a ceiling light. When the ceiling level is not high, we always use the ceiling light, alright? So today, I'm using a red color ceiling light. It's under this uh, color scheme, it's red color family. And two bedside table, we have the side table lights. And one more here, we have the stand light here to actually highlight this corner because uh, this wall is quite empty. I didn't use a wall decor so that we use the shadow to cast it on the wall. It will look like a uh, piece of art here. Because the working zone and also a storage zone, I'm using this ceiling light is in white color so that it have brighter uh, light source over here. It's really suitable for this area. Set number six is a soft finishing. I always say use a soft finishing to soften the interior. So what is the soft finishing for this bedroom? First one is the curtain. This is a day curtain and this is a night curtain. If you notice also, I'm using the full height curtain, full length. Alright, from the ceiling up to the floor to increase the ceiling level. And the other one is uh, throw cushion on this bed. I always say, dress up your bed like a hotel bed, not a hospital bed. So you must put a lot of soft cushion. And I always say, link up your furniture and your curtain. This is how you do it. Using the same fabric to sew the cushion cover and put it here. One more soft finishing for this zone is, I'm uh, using this string curtain actually to divide these two areas. This is the storage area and this is the uh, sleeping area. If you say you're using a sliding door here, you actually you will uh, divide the area, become very small. So by visual look at it, it is a, bit, a little bit small. By using string curtain, you can still can see through so that you will look at this space, it will be more spacious. Number seven is home deco accessory. Okay, for bedroom, try to be minimized home uh, home deco accessory. We can see here, I'm uh, using just a normal white plate. Okay, so uh, putting a candle and a fresh flower to complete the entire home accessory here. I also using this wood carving for the wall deco. Last step, step number eight is using fresh flower and candle. I always say that. Candle, it will be the warm light source, the most economical warm light source, and it really can build out the ambience. And fresh shower gives us a different mood. So for this time, I'm using a simple, just a plate, uh, okay flower because it's uh, suitable for this uh, resort style, and also two candle and put on the bed. That's it. X step to make over your bedroom. So I hope you enjoyed it. Enhance your design with me, Eric Leo. Bye! Hi, nama saya Mizan. Uh, ini isteri saya, Salina. Ini my baby. Mia Alia. Uh, kami uh, pemenang uh, Good Night Bedroom Makeover daripada Eric Leong. Kami ingin mengucapkan terima, terima kasih kepada Good Night atas hadiah yang kami tak jangka. <laughs> Uh, terima kasih banyak-banyak Suka Suka sangat-sangat lah uh, Kami tiga mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada Good Night Bye